Hi, I'm Ian Anderson, and today I'm going to show you how to use filter layers in Affinity Photo. I've got an image open here in Affinity Photo, and if you have a look at the Layers panel, you'll see it's a lot like Photoshop. In some ways it's better, and in some ways it's just a bit different. Now, I can turn a layer on and off with a checkbox on the right, and I've got I've got adjustment layers. There we go. I can add curves, vibrance, invert levels, all the, the useful stuff that you're probably used to, and a few weird ones in there as well. And I've got a couple more adjustments. I've got a lighten adjustment and a darken adjustment. Now I've actually added a separate mask to those, and you don't have to do this. Each adjustment layer is a mask on its own, but you can work this way if you want to. And what I've got then is selective lightening and darkening, which is something I like to do in Photoshop, and I can absolutely do here as well. Now one thing which you can't do easily in Photoshop is to apply a filter selectively to part of an area. Now you can do it. If I was to select my background, and in Photoshop I could choose Convert to Smart Object, then I can apply a Smart Filter, which does indeed do what I want, but it allows me to have just one mask for all the filters that I want to apply. And it's not the same as adjustment layers. I have to treat it slightly differently, which I don't really like. But here in Affinity Photo, I can go to this icon and add a Gaussian Blur Filter, which is a whole separate layer. Now I can click and drag on the image, or indeed on the slider. I'm going to tick Preserve Alpha to keep the edges correct there. I'll just close that down. This is actually a mask on its own. If I go to the Brush tool, and I just want to make sure I'm using the Paint Brush tool, and I've got X to go between these two options here. If I paint with black, then I'm painting the effect away. Now if I use an absolutely huge brush, uh, where are we? There we go. A huge, huge, huge brush. And make sure I'm painting with black. Then I can paint very fuzzy edges. Or I could paint with 30%. And you'll see slightly slow to update there. But now I've got a selective blur, which is effectively vignetting around the corners. On, off. I can bring it back anytime I like, just by painting with a much smaller brush. White is going to paint the effect in. I'll go for 40%, so I'll just paint a little bit more dreaminess around the outsides there. Now I can repeat this by adding a different filter, and in fact paint a different mask for each one. So if I want to add a clarity filter, which would be nice to see in Photoshop, you can certainly start with it cranked up, and you'll see, hang on, what's going on? And this is a clue to the fact that layers actually work differently. It's adding a clarity effect on top of the Gaussian blur. And in fact, I'll just pull it out. And now it's adding clarity to the whole layer. So you've got to be careful. Are you applying it to a mask, or to another layer, or to the whole thing in composite? Because you can drag any effect directly onto a layer, so it only applies to that layer, or you can drag it independently, so it works elsewhere. Now I'm going to drag that down just a little bit, and I can paint it out just by painting with black, so I don't sharpen around the outside. I'll just crank that up to 100%. And I'll paint it back in, just on the center points there. There we go. Before, after. So I hope that helped you understand what Affinity Photo is doing, how a little bit of competition can really help the marketplace to innovate, and hope you enjoy using it. It is an alternative. I still love Photoshop, but it's good to know that there's another option out there that is just as good, if not better in some ways. If you'd like to know a whole lot more about Affinity Photo, I have a full course. It is a paid course, but it's available on subscription or for outright purchase, and the link's in the description. There is a free trial available too. Hope that helped, and I'll see you soon.